You're a print judge this year. Yes. What were you looking for? How do you, how do you keep print fresh in the digital age? Um, I don't think it matters what age you're in. How do you keep print fresh? Because, um, um, you know, it's visuals and words on a, on a page. And um, I don't know how people keep it fresh, but every year you see something that's awesome. And the reason it's awesome is because somebody found an incredible branding way to uh, talk about anti-lock breaks. There's a lot of you know new things you can do in print because of you know we're in the digital age, um, but there's just just I don't know awesome ideas solved in this you know two D space. Did you know, did you see a, 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 an effect that the re, of the recession in the work? Did you see a dip in creativity? Some people have said that there's less good work out there. Do you think that's the case? Um, I saw great work, just really really good work. In fact. I was surprised how much crap work was entered because it costs a lot of money to, to enter to the show. What do you think this business is going to look like when we come out of it? It's like, I'm, I'm imagining, I'm not going to turn around, but I'm guessing there's like, you know, the Mediterranean Sea or some palm trees behind me, so just talking about the recession is, you know, kind of odd right now. But um, I, I have no idea what's going to happen. Um, I have no clue whatsoever. Um, you have this this move from all the traditional mediums into digital and not just digital but just everything else. So what the hell is going on there? Uh, the economy has crashed. Um, so what the hell is that going to do? I have no idea. And I was getting a little nervous because I have no idea what's going on. And um, you know, we were talking. I, I, I saw uh, Dan White in uh, on one of the admin clips. Um, saying that when he started White and Kennedy, he and Kennedy had no idea what they were doing. So I got really happy. I'm like, all right, I have no clue. And Dan Wyden said that's okay. So, so I'm feeling good. I have no clue what's going to happen. You know, what role do you think an award show like this has during a time like this? Does its value change in any way? Um, an award show like this, um, I mean, I don't know what value it has to other people. I can just tell you what it, what it does for me. It, I, I, I come here and I see what people think, you know, is their best work. So you see the, the, the best work coming in from the entire, you know, globe. Um, and some of it is just so fantastic that it pisses me off that I didn't do it. And I get really jealous and I work harder and I try to come up with new solutions. So there's, there's value for me. It, it, I think it makes me better. And also, um, I'm surrounded by you know some of the world's best creatives. You know, in my press jury, you know, most of the people I had never met before, I just knew their work, and it was fantastic to sit and talk to them and actually talk to them about their work. Um, and it's great just you know walking down the street, and there's Nick Law, right? Nick Law walking down the street. You know, I've only read about him, I've seen his work, I've never met him before. I got to go up and say hi, I'm Jerry, I'm a big fan. How you doing? So uh, that has value to me too. You know, you actually meet people who are doing all the fantastic work around here. What What are some of your favorites? What are some of the best work you've seen recently? That's in that you know, are contenders this year. In in general, just in some, general? Of the, yeah. some. For some reason, I was taking a shower today and I was thinking about the career builders' work uh, from Wyden. Um, in the shower, huh? In the shower, yeah. <laughs> uh, so that was Craig and Eric did that out mm -hmm. there with Tom Coots, I think. And uh, that's like my favorite TV that I've seen. I was thinking the guy drinking the gold and he says, it's gold. Cool. It's <laughs> I think I turned the faucet on, the faucet was gold and I'm like, it's gold. Cool. Uh, so there's that, there's some just like, you know, Crispin's got some fantastic stuff. I love um, Whopper Sacrifice, that's just like, you know, fantastic. Um, and then there's been some other stuff done, uh, I think BBH, uh, did something with Oasis when they seeded the, their new single out to uh, to some of the uh, street musicians uh, in New York. Um, it's not just like a cool idea. Uh, I think Oasis had their first like top 20 album in like 10 years or something like that. Uh, and other stuff that I just love. Uh, gosh, I don't know. Top on the bottom, man. Did you support the Grand Prix decision in press? Did you vote for the for the ad that ultimately won? 
I did not originally vote for the one that won, um, but I uh, listened to what some of the judges had to say. I asked some questions and stuff, and uh, I, I love that it's 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 fucked up enough, and it's gonna piss some people off maybe. Um, but I raised my hand. I, I, I did vote for it. Yeah.